I think about the fact that one in four women will experience domestic violence in their, at some point in their life. And I look around and I look at my friends and my family and I count one, two, three, four, and I think one of us is going to be a victim. I had myself been in an abusive relationship and I had reached out to my faith community for help. My faith leader encouraged me to return to the marriage, assured me that my partner had changed. It would be the best thing to go back, to, to forgive him. I knew that my partner had promised many, many, many times to change, and that had not happened. And so I tried to explain that to my faith leader, and he said, um, well, you, you obviously aren't a Christian anymore because you don't believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to change people. Well, there are a lot of faith leaders of all faiths that say, oh, it's not happening here, it's happening over in the other faith communities. Faith leaders aren't experts, in most cases, on domestic violence. We're doing a training in northeastern Louisiana, and we are going to be working with faith leaders around building collectively a definition of domestic violence. And then we talk about trauma, and we really want to help people be able to put themselves into the shoes of a victim or survivor. When faith leaders decide to come to a training, a lot of times they're self-selecting and they have either been convinced or, or realized that domestic violence is an issue in the faith community. The framework of the training is, first of all, how do I recognize domestic violence? Second of all, how do I respond to a victim? And third of all, how do I refer to community services so that the victim can get help? It's a problem across the board in all faith communities. We would contend that any faith community needs to be part of the response to domestic violence. Any of us can be victims of domestic violence, but as I have proven and many other people have proven, any of us can also be survivors. I don't believe that it's God's will that anyone lives in a situation of abuse.